Please uh, tell me why you've come to me today. A marriage counseling? Well, Godfather, there are actually a number of issues we've come to discuss today. But it's one thing after another, and it's really starting to get on top of us. Well, I'll go first, if you don't mind me taking the lead on this one, Megan. Uh, I guess not, then. Uh, over to you, Megan. No, no, go on. Well, there have been a few unfavourable stories released in the press in the last few months. And, you know, we'd like to see them, you know, suppressed. Suppressed. Is that right, suppressed? Yes, very good. I'm gonna need some specifics. Well, for instance, I mean, Harry went to a rodeo, despite my animal rights activism, you know? He was wearing the get-up and the hat and everything. Not a good look. If you're gonna go to a rodeo, you might as well get into the spirit of things. That's not a rodeo hat. And where did you get that? Get what from? Another story we'd like to go away, right, is the size of our impressive wine cellar. Uh, it's not a good look. And also, we'd like to hush up the fact that my sister is uh, suing me for defamation. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I mean, when did this defamation occur? During our interview with Oprah. I mean, she says that I made malicious comments about her. I don't remember Megan being anything but amazing in that interview. You know, amazing. In fact, I don't remember much about the interview at all. Who's Oprah? As you can probably guess, uh, allegations that I've been malicious against those who are significantly less powerful than me doesn't really gel well with my global narrative about being kind and compassionate, you know, even if those allegations are untrue. And they jolly well might be. 100%, 24-7, seven days a week, annually, every year. So you come to me, and you say, Godfather, please, make these stories go away. That'd be great. All we ask for is a fair shout. You're in need of correction. What you ask for is precisely the opposite. What you have now is a fair shout. With only, um, negative stories free to circulate. Yeah, but it's not fair of that. No. Don't speak. I have a problem with nonsense. I cannot listen for too long. Men and women would do many things to uh, become influential. But none are as shameful as the things they'll do to remain influential. You want people to uh, take you seriously as global humanitarians, always concentrating on the plight of the poor. Yet you act maliciously towards members of your own family. When? I hear rumors that you didn't attend your grandfather's memorial, that you were there for the opening of the Invictus Games. I can't put this down to a uh, mere lack of consideration. It's malice. You have uh, declared war on the royal family. Yeah, well, they started it. You claim that you don't get a uh, fair shot of things. You think you're going to redefine the word fair as to remain uh, unpunctured? In your cocoon of delusion. Then you come to me and you say, Don Cagliani, can you quash these stories that are uh, unfair? Really unfair. But it is only because your minds have uh, warped into misshapen glass ornaments, bending the uh, rays of truth and staining the white radiance of honesty until you form an image of reality that is to the liking of your uh, inflated egos. I'm not able to uh, help you with any of this. It doesn't help me 
Doesn't help our society. Doesn't even help either of you. I shall not uh, push you deeper into the muddy swamp of a psychosis. Oh, come on, just a little. But I thank you for coming to my home and treating my family with uh, respect and courtesy. I saw that you uh, gave my daughter a cassette tape. Yeah, it's an early demo of my up-and-coming single, Get What's Coming to Me. 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 She was thrilled. But I must now attend to matters of some urgency. And I'll say good day. Okay, well, goodbye, Godfather. Ciao. Uh, Clemenza, don't let anybody play that cassette when I'm in uh, audible range. I don't want that tune stuck in my head again. <laughs>